That's a load of stickers gone out. Right, I have to update you on some things. Okay, so if you remember the video that I made talking about the new business idea of, you know, this metal art uh, and starting with the sprocket and brake disc clocks, well, I was pretty sure I was going to do it and then with all the support from you guys, it, it, you know, it went so much better than I thought it was going to. You know, I thought there'd be a lot more naysayers, but no, there were, it really wasn't. Um, I, I'm doing it. Tools have been bought. I'm already working on them. This morning I set up the PO box. 171 pounds. I was wrong. It's not 142. It's, it's there's charges as well. 171 quid. God, my stomach dropped when I was like, "Yes, okay, I'll have that. Thanks." Uh -huh. When you haven't had a job for like six months, and you know money's really tight, and I'm not, you know, the largest amount of money I might spend is like 20 quid at a time. <laughs> Normally half of that's fuel. Spending out 171 quid, fucking oh, I'm gonna shit it a bit. But it wasn't quite so bad because, unbelievably, it just proves that sort of the human kindness and the way that people actually do look out for each other and want better for each other. I've I've sold quite a few stickers, and of course, if you buy a sticker now between now and the 31st of August at 12 noon, for each pair of stickers you buy, you have a chance of winning that first sprocket clock that I showed in that video. I've sold about 15 pairs of stickers, so that's helped a little bit. But obviously you've got a while to get them. If you want to win that clock, order a set of stickers. Uh, but also I've had a couple of people donate money to my PayPal with an email sort of saying, you know, well done for trying to go out on your own. I can really admire that. And, and here's some money to help you out. I was just like, fuck. So, so appreciative of that because it made that sting feel a little less painful. Yeah, my stomach still did go doing it. But anyway, we've done it now. The PO box is set up. I won't have the address to give out until the 22nd of August, roughly, because it takes like 10 days to set it up. So in between now and then, if you do have any uh, sprockets or any disc brakes that you don't mind sending me for me to use and sell, this is not for me to make into a clock for you. That is a different service I'll have to talk about in a minute. Um, you just, you know, here's some old things. Make, make what you can out of it, spicy and sell it. If you want to do that, hold on to that stuff because I will be giving out the address for you to do that. And the few people have said, yeah, I've got a couple of discs you can have. I've got a couple of sprockets. Sure, no worries. Really thank you guys, seriously. I, I'm, I'm feeling quite proud of myself to being like, you know, no, let's just try and do something ourselves. Because it's scary. It's freaking scary to be like, I'm going to try and do this and I have to put money in to do it. But I've done it. I've done it. I've done it, Jesus. But yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with sort of well, how it's going so far. Now, talking of that service of me turning your sprockets, your discs into clocks for you, which a lot of people seem to like the idea of, still don't know a price on that. Uh, what, I can, what I can say is the clocks I'm going to be selling aren't going to be 100 quid. It was misunderstood. I was saying that's what they could sell up for, but I was looking to come in quite a way under that. I think the 60 to 70 pound mark for the clocks is where I'm looking to go. But as for the service of me turning your discs or your sprockets into clocks for you, that is something I'm going to be setting up. Each each one has to be set up by email. I'm going to give you an email that you can address. You can send me send me an email to, and it's going to be only for that, not for just chatting with me. It's going to be for work only. I know Yummy has had the same problem recently with his hydro dipping business. People saying, you know, oh yeah, I'd love to get this done in six months, etc. Yet yeah, that's I really do appreciate it, but I can't be you know it causes imagine getting hundreds of emails and every tenth one might actually be an order or someone wanting you to do something anyway the reason i need to do that is because i want to see what you want me to turn into a clock first before you send it to me because there may be implications as to why i can't do it some unique design that i hadn't thought of that might be a problem so i'm going to want to see photographs of it and it also is going to be a, a based on condition because i mean I can turn any rusty old disc into a clock. I can keep it rusty and turn it into a clock, it's fine, it's not a problem, but I want to be able to say to each individual person, that's going to have to be taken back further, this is going to, you know, or give them at least an idea of that. I don't want to disappoint people, I want to make sure that it's as that they would wish. So, that isn't a service I'm offering yet, so if you have discs and sprockets that you want me to do that, and you want me to pay, you want to pay to have them turn into sprockets and discs, uh, clocks, then hold on to them, otherwise the people who are just sending me them for, you're like, there you go, Spice. 
That's going to be after the 22nd of August. Jesus! I hope that was under easy enough to understand. And of course, again, I have you guys to thank for pushing me, you know. from As I've said before now, what YouTube has done for me as a person is is amazing and it's and it's also you guys that have, have really helped push me with things like you know pushing me to do more to try and push myself out of my comfort zone to do stuff and and as I say I've wanted to do this idea for so long and I was like I was on a knife edge with it I was like I could have fallen either way and then you guys gave me a good bloody shove over the over the edge to be like do it if you don't do it you won't know and you, you don't know so risk it for a biscuit and go for it which I am I think I've covered everything that I can tell you so far with this. Um, there'll be a bit once the PO box is up, then everything's like official. I can make a video like, right, I'm doing this, etc., etc. And by that point, I'll be able to show you maybe three or four clocks that I've already made. I'm in my processes of working on some. I've also got, you know, because I'm selling the stickers, I've got to do all the sticker stuff as well, and I've got to make videos still. In fact, I've got a great video coming up soon. I went uh, green laning with uh, Lamb Chops, who was on a 1290 Super Adventure and his mate that was on a CR500. We all were on road tyres, it was all very muddy. It's a dual vlog type thing with me and Lamb Chop. It's gonna be great, I think. We're currently trying to transfer the data back to Forzu to each other. I think if, we, if I just drove around there with a hard drive, it would have been quicker, but whatever, we're, we're, we're making it by. So I've got some good stuff coming, but I'm spread thin at the moment. But it's just the setup. Once everything's in place, then I can, you know, I can really organize my time well and, and get a lot of stuff done <laughs> another thing was just recently i was invited to a suzuki press day launch like launch day thing for some um, smaller cc bikes and i actually had to turn it down because although i think some of it was paid for not all of it was and i just can't warrant the time away because it was three days three days oh, if you want to wear my old, well, i was wondering wearing my old gloves i just used them yesterday while i was green lighting um, and i grabbed them this morning nothing wrong with the uh, the knocks Oh, don't forget, you can get 10% off at getgear.co.uk with uh, code SPICY110. There it is. Jesus, I'm trying to remember everything. This is, this is so difficult. Uh, yeah, I turned out that press day. It's just, you know, the, the moment, time and cost, and I've got so much stuff to do. And I'm like, look, sorry. I just can't do it. I'll still get to review the bikes, but on my own terms, which in a way is kind of better. You know, I, I'll, I don't have to do any of this corporate stuff. I don't have to go down there and smooze and... I just want to ride the bikes and tell you what they're like. So being able to do it from Hazelmere, to be honest, works out better for me and for you. It means I'm more relaxed, I'm not on the spot so much. But it felt like one of those things that I should have done. You know, you're like, you know, when doors open like that, you have to you have to jump through them. Well, because it opens more doors. Well, I, I don't have the option to do that anymore. I know my place has been given away, and that's all good because I say I can't. I, I the moment the time is more important, and yeah. Oh, so yeah, there's a load of stuff that's going on. It's only been like, I think, four days since I last made this sort of updated video, but shit, man, a lot is going on. But it's all good stuff. But yeah, I'm just really pleased to say that I am going ahead with it. Um, I'm already starting to work on stuff. I'm so busy, it's awesome. I mean, I love being busy. I love having lots of stuff to do, and it's all my own stuff. I am my own boss at this point in time. I just hope that I can turn the losses into profits before too long. I don't even have to be big profits as long as I'm like keeping even. I'll be, I'll, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything I need to tell you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for people saying things like the respect, the risks that I've taken and, and admiring what I'm doing at the moment because it, it, it really does mean a lot because it really does help me through the, the doubts and the worries, which I, you know, I'm a doubter and a worrier like mad anyway. So to have you guys behind me on it, it's just like, thank you. Right, I'm gonna stop waffling. Thank you for watching. As I've got some decent content coming up soon, some other stuff I'm working on. It will be all good. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash the like out of the fuck button, and I'll catch you next time.